So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click onto any of the videos. Also, comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions. In what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, Shannon Briggs has failed a drug test for his upcoming fight against Feza Quendo on June the 3rd for the vacant WBA regular heavyweight title. Shannon Briggs was tested at random by VADA, the drug testing agency based in Las Vegas and it was found in his test that he had elevated levels of testosterone which is signs of PED use and this is disappointing from Shannon Briggs because Shannon Briggs at 45 years of old has a lot of people behind him and he's built this popularity over himself the last couple of years with all his antics and the let's go champ slogan and stuff like that getting himself into positions for fighting for heavyweight titles because if you think about it Shannon Briggs at 45 years old should not be fighting for the heavyweight title well for a version of the heavyweight title like Shannon Briggs came back in 2013 or 2014 I can't remember and he's had about eight or nine fights very quick there and he's won eight of them nine fights by knockout but these are against guys who are club fighters guys who most professional boxers would be like top professional boxers like these guys are low level operators but Shannon Briggs at 45 years old it's got you thinking like does this guy need this kind of boost to be able to compete at a high level has he been doing this for a while because if you just look at Shannon Briggs physique a lot of people have been skeptical about it like a few people have said it in the past they think Shannon Briggs is on steroids like I'm not a person who's really thought about Shannon Briggs being on steroids before because the story that he came back and got himself in great shape and stuff like that. Like, it is possible to get yourself into good shape at 45 years old. It's not impossible. But if you look at Shannon Briggs, it's like the way he looked only about three or four or five years ago and now it makes you very sceptical about the whole situation. But, yeah, Shannon Briggs has failed this drug test. And the fight with Fraser Wendo is in major jeopardy now. Like, we don't think this fight's going to happen at all. Like, I don't see this fight happening now. And what does that mean for the vacant WBA regular title? Because like I always say, I hate this regular shit. To me, Anthony Joshua is the WBA heavyweight champion of the world. Lucas Brown can't fight for the heavyweight title. It was his title originally because he beat Chagayev in Russia, but he's failed two drug tests as well. It's like everyone who fights for this fucking belt fails a drug test. So it's getting a bit silly now. So I don't know what's going to happen with this situation, if this fight's going to happen or if the next highest guys in the rankings are going to fight for the WBA regular title because obviously the WBA want people to hold this belt because they want the sanctioning fees for it. They want sanctioning fees for both the belts. It's a very greedy move from the WBA. I've always said that. But it's very disappointing from Shannon Briggs because a lot of people have got behind him, like I've just said. And a lot of people have felt a bit let down from Shannon Briggs. So I'd like to see what Shannon Briggs has to say about this because he's usually a very vocal guy on situations with other boxers in the sport and stuff like that. I've heard him criticise Lucas Brown in the past for steroid use and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see what he says about this, Shannon Briggs. Comment below in the comment section. It's JM.